Good day, welcome, and from wherever you are watching, we want you to relax and be inspired with this session today. What we will be showing today is how to use gold leaf with a clear glaze. And what you will need for this session is the following. Some gold leaf sheets, some chocolate paint clear glaze, some artist brushes and even a Hamilton's enzyme brush or a nice soft paint brush, some paint, chocolate paint in the color of your choice, an empty jar, and then um, whatever else you need to, to make sure that it's just beautiful. A sponge and then um, some antique brown glaze maybe if you want to create an antique finish. We will also be showing that and some matte black to color your antique brown glaze. What we have done already is we have cleaned our furniture piece properly with some lacquer thinners allow for the thinners to dry and cure for 40 minutes and then we use the colors Jayco here it is as well as matte black to paint our surface next we are going to show how to apply the gold leaf with the clear glaze so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my soft paint brush dip it in my clear glaze remove any excess moisture so the clear glaze is actually a product that we use to make a surface that has been painted with choco paint water and uv resistant and more stain resistant choco has a built-in sealer so if you like the matte finish you can leave it as is if you are painting something kitchens bathrooms outdoors or something like a tabletop or a big pedestal top I would recommend to use the clear glaze just to make it more stain resistant. So once I have dipped my paintbrush in the clear glaze and removed the excess moisture, I am going for this technique. I don't want a solid gold, gold leaf um, pattern on my surface. I actually want something that looks more worn and used. So I'm simply going to dab my glaze small sections at a time very randomly on my surface so it's not perfect and there's not glaze sitting everywhere so there are spots without glaze not a large section small sections at a time then I take my gold leaf sheet And I just put it down with an artist brush over the areas where I have applied my glaze. So I use my artist brush to dab onto the gold leaf. To make sure it adheres to the surface all the loose bits and pieces I can use again next we will be zooming in so that you can see exactly what is done
and I'm just finishing off the last bit in the corner over there I'm working at a very um, delicate angle for you to be able to see what I'm doing so whenever I dab with my paintbrush and I dab hard onto the gold leaf it actually already creates this worn look so I don't want a perfect look I want to have something that looks more used old vintage and I just love this I'm not done though because we are going to make use of some of a scotch pad and um, this is like the core cool side of a kitchen sponge and just make sure that we sand a bit to create even more texture as well as a worn finish before I'm going to start with the sanding though I am going to allow for the glaze just to set and dry for more or less half an hour and while we wait let's continue with something different so over here I have a candle holder and it has nice texture on it and I'm going to do exactly what I have done on this drawer the only difference is we have texture on this surface and I want to show you how beautiful how beautifully the gold leaf with a clear glaze works on a textured surface so here I want a more of a solid gold leaf um, work I'm going to first paint with an artist brush some glaze onto my surface Just small sections at a time. Make sure I reach all the crevices and grooves. Next, I'll use a gold leaf sheet. Put it over my surface where I have applied the clear glaze. And very gently, with my artist brush, just push in all the grooves and crevices due to the detail and the delicateness of the gold leaf there will be areas where the page tears off but there you can just simply paint some glaze on and reapply some gold leaf over those areas but just gentle work almost done I will just now leave this to dry for 20 to 30 minutes something that I'm also busy doing as I'm applying my um, gold leaf I'm also painting some clear glaze all the time on top of the gold leaf just for extra protection and then I'll show you once this is dry what will happen next I'll say my my candle holder is complete I'll let this now to dry and while it's drying I'm going to use my scotch pad to sand and distress more to get more of an uneven gold leaf effect remember this is completely up to you and you do whatever you like to do I'm just sharing inspiration and ideas so I'm sanding lightly very lightly just to create more uneven areas 
and this also creates more texture. While I'm sanding, I'm also getting rid of all the loose bits that didn't adhere to the surface. Gently, softly. I am just loving this absolutely beautiful once you got rid of all the unwanted dust I am dipping my sponge in water it can be a normal kitchen sponge I'm squeezing to remove any excess moisture next I apply a very small amount of my choco color and I'm using Jayco on my sponge make sure it's evenly distributed everywhere and I just want the one section one half of the sponge to be um, filled with some paint but evenly then very lightly I'm going to dab where the gold leaf and the paint meet each other just to create an even flow of colors and almost like a blending of the two colors together so there's a gradual transition from gold leaf to a paint color yeah. I'm now going to be playful also on our YouTube channel is a video that shows the antique lace application. I have poured some antique brown lace after I've mixed it well into a glass jar. I'm just a small amount. We are going to need so little. Just for extra drama, I'm adding some matte black. You can also mix in some sheriff stone. And I'm also adding just a drop of water. The glazes are um, concentrated products, so what the water does, it just prolongs the drying time. I mix well. Now, with an artist brush, I'm going to paint small sections of the glaze onto my gold leaf surface. It immediately sits in all the grooves and crevices okay now that I am done I am going to let it dry whatever excess glaze I wanted to remove I just used my sponge and wiped away gently to make sure that the distribution was even and beautifully we will share some close-ups and then a message to all the mothers out there um, have the most amazing Mother's Day thank you for everything you do Thank you for all the inspiration you share. Thank you for bringing us up and making us into the humans we are. We are asking all of you if you do something for your mother during Mother's Day to share it with us. And together with Hamilton's, we are giving away a beautiful hamper. Send it to us on our main Facebook page and stand a chance to win. Love you all. Be blessed.